that, that, that was a career-changing game, actually. It was in uh, November of 1984, and a lot of people don't remember in those days that the rivalry was Philadelphia and Boston, Julia Serving and Larry Bird. Both teams were undefeated, and, um, you know, I'm the baby in the group. There's only two referees. I'm with a veteran official, and we do the first half, and the start of the second half, Dennis Johnson dives for a ball, <clears throat> excuse me, dives for a ball, and crashes into my partner and breaks his leg. Well, we stop the game. They carry him off on a stretcher, and I do, you know, my, uh, my plea to both coaches. I get, I get Casey Jones and I get Billy Cunningham, and I said, coaches, listen, I'm by myself. I'm going to work for two men. I'm going to work as hard as one person can possibly work. But this is only going to be successful if I have your cooperation. Dick, you got it. No problem. Everything is fine. And I think Billy Cunningham had to say to his assistant, what, what's his name? What, what's that guy's name? Yeah, Dick. Yeah, they didn't even know who I was. Well, four technical fouls later, you know, <laughs> thanks to their cooperation, it was only four technical fouls. Cunningham starts jumping up, and, and I say to him, if you do that one more time, I'm going to throw you. He said, you don't have the guts. Bing, bong, goodbye. So he leaves, and I go over to the scorer's table, and Andy Jick, I always remember Andy Jick was the announcer for the Celtics, and, and the scorer says, Dick, you're throwing him on one technical foul, right? And I said, no. The other official in the first half called a technical foul on Cunningham. And he's, because I said, I heard it announced. He said, yes, but he came over afterwards and changed it to Matt Gukas. So Cunningham only has one technical. Do you really want to throw him on one? I said, no, no. Let someone go into the locker room. Let's bring him back out again. <laughs> so now they go in and they get Cunningham and they bring him back out again. <laughs> And he's, he's coaching. And, of course, as luck would have it, Larry Bird has an unbelievable night. Every shot he took, Irving is guarding him. And as every shot went in that Larry took, he went further back. And he kept on saying to Irving, aren't you going to guard me? Can't you do any better? I mean, he was the, the greatest soft-spoken trash talker I've ever met. Finally, it got too much. And I look up, and I see them choking each other. And a melee ensues. And so I just kind of, I learned from my brother Joe that if you can't stop something before it starts, you kind of step back and take license plate numbers. Yeah. So I just kind of stepped back and watched what was going on. And in so doing, then I informed them that Bird and Irving were gone. Boston ends up winning by 15, 18. And the response, more so from the Philadelphia people, was that Cunningham said, I really didn't know that much about this guy, Bavetta. and But for anyone to have the courage to throw out two superstars, that says a lot for this man. How about a game uh, in 2000? And that was the first time and only time either one of them have ever been thrown out of a game. In